Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Eliza Fat Creative. If you're here from TikTok, you may know that I've been doing a design challenge where I take a word from a TikTok song and I create a graphic. For example, this baddie design that I created, I have been getting a lot of requests on TikTok on how I created this design. So I'm going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial today in Illustrator. But before we get started, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will also link all my socials down below and the font that I used. So let's get right into it. So I'm just gonna move the design out of the way so I can start fresh. I did use the rectangle tool on the left hand side in the toolbar to create the black box that you see. I'm then going to hit T on my keyboard to use the text tool to create the word baddie and then align it to my artboard. And then I'm going to select the font and the font is from adobefonts.com and it is called Dazzle Unicase. I love this font, it's amazing. Um, and then I'm going to use the bold setting and then outline it hitting shift command O on my keyboard. And then I didn't like the, just the single line for the eye. So I'm just going to create the crosses. You don't have to do this in your design, but this is what I've done in mine. I think it looks better in my opinion. So I'm just going to select the three lines and then go, I'm going to use the pathfinder tool to weld it all together. And then when I'm done, I'm going to make sure that everything is ungrouped and laid out because I'm going to work with each individual letter with this design. And then I'm going to move things around, make it look kind of discombobbled, you know, whatever word you want to use. Um, and then just shift things around, make the layout however you want it to look. This is what I've done with mine. And then once again, I'm gonna make sure it's ungrouped because you want to work with the letters individually. I'm then going to select I on my keyboard in order to select the eyedropper tool. And then I'm going to color each letter a different color based on my color palette I have down below. And then I'm going to arrange each individual letter above the letter beside it. So what I mean by that is I'm going to select on my mouse, right click and then hit arrange and then arrange to front. Um, and then what I mean by that is the B is going to be above the A, the A is going to be above the D, the D is going to be above the other D and so on. We're now going to make the letters look 3D. So now what I'm going to do is copy the letter B in behind the letter B. So if you look at my layers panel, you can see exactly what I've done. So what I've done is just hit command C and command B to copy the letter behind it. And then I'm going to make the one behind it smaller and darker, as you can see what I've done right here. And I'm gonna do it to each letter individually like this. And then once I've done that, I'm going to select the B, like the smaller B and the bigger B. I'm going to go up to object, blend and make, and it will blend it and make it look kind of 3D. I'm then going to select the bottom layer B and move it around and make it look how I want it to look and even zoom in if you have to. So once you're done that, we're going to copy the B again on top of itself. So if you look closely in the layers panel, I'm going to click the top B and hit Command C and Command F, and then move it above the blend group. I'm then going to use the gradient tool and we're gonna be working with the layer that we moved above the blend group. So we're gonna color the B with a gradient and within the gradient tool, you can use different colors for your gradient like I'm doing here. And all you do is select that one color node and then the eyedropper and then select the color you're wanting. And then if you hit G on your keyboard, you can move around the gradient. You can make it more look more blue or more pink, whatever look you're wanting to go with. Once you're done playing around with that gradient, we're gonna select the top B in that blend group, just like I've done here in the layers panel. And then we're gonna select I on our keyboard and we're going to eyedropper that gradient we just made. So it's the same as the top layer. So doing that, it messed up my blend. So while the blend group is selected, I'm gonna go up to object, blend, blend options. And then I'm going to click specified steps and I'm going to type in 100 and hit okay. 
I'm then going to select that top B in the blend group, just like I've done here in the layers panel. And then I'm gonna hit G and I'm just going to rotate that gradient that we put on it earlier. I'm then going to select that bottom B, the darker one in the blend group, like I have in my layers panel here. I'm then going to add that same gradient, but then I'm going to select darker colors like I have right here. And then I'm going to hit G again on my keyboard and I'm going to rotate that so it's underneath the, the correct colors like I've done, so just like this. So your B should look something like this. I'm going to do the exact same steps on every single letter. Um, I'm not gonna repeat myself. You can go back in the video if there's something that you missed or you're not sure about something. Um, I will show you how to duplicate the D so you don't have to do this exact same steps over twice. Work smarter, not harder. So once you're done creating the first D, delete the second one, and then all you do is hit Alt, Shift, and drag over to duplicate that second D. So we want that second D to be exact same colors as the B. So the easiest way to do that is to select the layers within the layers panel, and we're going to select the top layer and hit I and then eyedropper the color, select the second layer and eyedropper the colors behind that layer and then so on. I know it's a little bit complicated, but once you figure out how the layers panel works, it gets easier and you'll understand how everything works. I'm going to finish off these last couple letters and then I will get into the next steps. So you should have something that looks similar to this. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna hit A on our keyboard, which activates the direct select tool. We're gonna select each individual letter, which is the top layer within those blend groups. This is where we created the first gradient. Then we're gonna to go to our appearance panel, the effects tool, and then stylize, and then we're gonna hit inner glow. Within that inner glow, we're gonna just play around with the settings a little bit and add kind of like a white hazy outline. Um, I really like this effect, I think it looks really cool. And then I kind of wanna give my letters sort of a balloon look, I guess. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create lines that follow each of the parts that I want it to look balloonish. So I'm just using the pen tool and the stroke panel. All I'm doing is creating those lines and then I'm going to up the stroke a few points and make it thicker, just like this. And then I'm gonna open the more options panel. I'm gonna change the profile to this one and then I'm going to add lines to every single letter. And then I'm going to select all of my lines I've added because I want to do this whole effect all at once. And then once they're all selected, I'm going to go up to effect and then go down to blur, click Gaussian blur, and then you can play around with the slider if you want, but I'm going to keep it around this setting and then hit OK. I want to add more dimension to my letters, so I'm going to add a shadow to each one. Um, so what I'm doing is using the pen tool and I'm just drawing a line following the bottom of the B there. I'm going to select a dark green for this color because the A is green. It doesn't have to match exactly to the A, um, but it's basically the same steps that I did with those white lines. So I'm going to up the stroke a little bit and then show options in the stroke panel and then select that top profile in the profile panel. And then I'm going to go up to effects, or effect, sorry, and then blur, Gaussian blur, and then hit okay. And then I'm going to move that top layer below the B so it's below it rather than sitting on top. And then I'm gonna do that those exact same steps to every single letter. If there is a step you missed, you can go back in the video if you have any questions, send me a message on Instagram. I'd love to see what you guys are creating, so please post it on Instagram and tag me. 
I will put my links down below, like I said earlier. This is my final design for the day. If you've watched this far, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one.